ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. Have hey we started? Evening. We're just jumping into uh, the server now. We've just uh, the hot start. If you go to um, pop up. Um, right. Yeah, on, on the list, um, Gus, that right towards the bottom, uh, pop up one through to eight. Pop it. Uh, they're all fully loaded, um, and there's a waypoint set as well. Roger. Yeah, are you taxing to the runway? That's me. Yeah, I haven't moved yet. Roger. Sorry, that's me. One is taxi. Holy shit. I can I see it. the weapons page with all these hellfires. Two taxi in. Are you I in the do. front, um, are you Scooby? Yeah, I'm in Shaggy's... Uh, well, um, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm in Shaggy's cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> I take it when you hot stop, when you're in that hot stop, but the high hats are lying for you. Yes. I'm assuming so, yeah. Uh, you're over to my left, Paul, so I'm on your, your right, I think. Yeah, roger yeah, that. I'm about your five o'clock. Yeah, should gonna we, be getting me taxi. Should we go and fly the uh, fly the route? Yeah, definitely. Are you uh, are you jumping in, Gus? Uh, just loading up now. Okay, um, I'll just wait for you to uh, jump in. Copy, thanks. DCS seems a bit slow tonight. Yeah, we can uh, we fly as a three ship if you want. Roger. One's taking the active runway two five. I want to say two nine. Roger. Two taken active runway, two nine. Are we taking off together, guys, or are we just going to go? How do I slave my tads to my iHUD? You got a sensor select switch? Tads? One second. It'll be in the controls. Either that or tie in a knot. Tie it in a knot. I'm not that kind of girl. Yogi, myself and Paul and Gus were just going to fly the, the waypoints over to uh, to the pop-up station to have a look at that. I don't know whether you want to fly with us or whether you join yeah. us, uh, Shaggy. Yeah. yeah, I'm just behind Yogi, so uh, I'm, he's just crossed over into my path, so I'm going to go over to the right. Sorry, man. That's all right. No worries. Lead takes a left. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not quite professional like that. I can fly this stuff, but I'm not very good with everything else. Ready? Okay. Call it. What? Call what? <laughs> you usually call beacon. I call torch. Beacon. Torch. That's a cue to hover. Notice you're having fun with the um, rear um, wheel, Paul. Yeah, it's all it gets me. It's tricky as hell, isn't it? It is. I'm just behind you at the moment. 
Roger that. Uh, Gus is still logging in, so he'll be, he'll be with us in a sec. Okay, I'm going to line up on the runway. Roger. Which button did you say, was, Shag? Sensor select switch. Uh, I think it's on the LHG, the left hand grip, or the right hand grip. One Sensor of those. select switch? Yeah. I've got that set to TV and it's still not, it's just ball sighted. It doesn't move when I move. Uh, mate, I'm trying to fly it. Yeah, 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 fair enough. Radar, 11 o'clock, searching. I'm going to shut this down, Neil, and restart. Even okay. drop off slow for some reason. Yeah, no problem. Or we'll jump in one of the others. Alright, oh, no, jump. Okay, I'll put load, uh, loads in. One heading to waypoint one. Yep, two heading waypoint one. When you one. get to waypoint four, guys, um, you'll be approaching from the uh, e uh, east, I think. Roger. Radar. Seven o'clock. Searching. Yeah, you're approaching from the east. Uh, you'll see a couple of flares pop up. Um, which is um, where you need to land and do your pop up from. We'll do that. Or hover, whichever. Two, one is in your six o'clock. Copy that. Yeah, we start on GCS. Why is my guns not working? I'm back, guys. Have you, you all got the trigger cover? Yeah, trigger cover. Roger. 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 Coming up to waypoint one. Watch out. What about my map per uh, scroll? You didn't clear them cables by much. Turn in waypoint two. I like to live on the edge, Scoop. Hmm. Neil, where would we find the targets? Waypoint four? Oh, yeah, so when you when you get to waypoint four. Copy. Yeah, when you get to waypoint four, um, you'll see where the, the uh, flares pop up. Um, you want to be facing a bearing of uh, 300. And on a bearing directly of 300 from where you're landing, across the valley, you'll, there's a village with some BRDMs and BMPs patrolling. And immediately below where your pop-up is, there's another little tiny village, which is only 400 metres away. Oh, sorry, 0.4 of a mile away. Um, is another little village with some patrolling BRDMs. So you've got close and far um, targets. Across the valley, left, it's 1.9 miles. Get to uh, waypoint four first. On this, uh, be good if you could do like a data sheet, um, Neil, with sort of like so we could add in these uh, windmills or these towers is sort of like um, precautions. Okay. Oh, that's easy. I'll have to get you to teach me how to do that one, Paul. Yeah. I'd say you scare me, but I've got my eyes closed. The channel timed out.
I think Gus must have reset his computer. Yeah, I think he's uh, doing that. Big dip, <sighs> big dipper. Yeah, I've just got my head down here trying to get this. It's a slave to me and I've no idea how. That was cool. Yeah, I've got my seat shaker on and that, when you over talk that rotor then it nearly gave me an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out why my map didn't scroll. It's fro in freeze position, isn't it? Oh, uh, was that? No, it's because I had the cursor in the left MFD. My map's on my right MFD. Remember to change your cursor to the correct MPD. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. You, you need to that? have the cursor on it, do you? Uh, scroll your cursor lot like if you're in left, go to the right and then nudge it right and it should flick over to the right MPD. Stuck on the uh, on the side of the MPD on the left hand screen, I can't move it to the right. No, I think you have to release your, your scroller and then flick it again and to the right and it jumps over. Oh yeah. Got it? Roger. Then what do I do? If you want to move your scroll, your pan, move your map around, click on the pan, that's T2, till it highlights, and then you curse, and then when you use your cursor controller, it moves the map rather than the cursor. What's that? One, kilo uh, one kilometre away from waypoint two. And turning left onto waypoint three. What's your slip showing, Shark? Because I'm showing with a size up in like a motherfucker. No, it's just off by about two degrees. Yeah, another desync. Are you talking? Then. Are you talking about the slip ball? Yeah, the ball on, on the HF. Oh yeah, this, yeah, the ball's out. Remind me what that dotted cross is. The the tri uh, the diamond. No, I've got a dotted cross and I've got a dotted diamond. Dot, dotted, yeah. The dotted cross is your acquisition, basically your, your your whatever you've got selected is your acquisition point, but it's probably fixed. It's where the so gun's pointed. Yeah. So basically, it's it's probably fixed to the 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 heading of your helicopter, which is the which is the cross, which is the dotted diamond. If you've got it set to transit mode, you should see sort of like a upside down diamond, solid diamond with a dot in the middle. That'd be your waypoint. No, I've not got that. So do a sensor select, uh, sensor, pilot sensor select switch up. That is, that's, that changes your transition modes. And every time you're pressing that, Scoobs, it's changing it on mine as well. Thanks. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think that, that that can't be right. No, I wouldn't imagine it was. Okay, one kilometre away from waypoint three. Turning Other thing left. left, seventy degrees. Other thing you got to watch out for is like when you're using your guns, you don't steal the gun from each other. I've, I can't. Even, I'm trying to get it to slave to my side, and I just I don't know how. Okay, moving to waypoint four. Seven kilometers. Ah, oh, Falcon's back. Hi, Falcon. Hello. How are you doing? Doing well. Excellent. I'm uh, going to waypoint one. Uh, okay. How do I, how do I slave this to me? Yeah, oh, so you want to you get your acquisition Should we head off to, to waypoint one, Paul? Because I think Gus must be having problems. Yeah, okay then, we'll do. Set okay. your acquisition on, on your weapon page, set your acquisition to... Okay. Uh, no, if you go to coordinate roll. at the top on the weapon page. How do we set... Um, coordinate? Doesn't matter, that's what I'm thinking. How do I get the map to be... So I've done it, figure... I got mine uh, set to digital elevation. To mode. Box map, then go to uh, type. That's it. Hold on a sec. I mean, I mean coordinates or weapons now. Yeah, cord. No, cord gives you lots of different options: waypoints, frets, control measures. So you want to go cord, 
and then go click box waypoints which is the uh, T1 and then you and then bo and then click on web, uh, waypoint 4 and that will make our, that our acquisition point and pop up for checking right roger i'm uh, coming up behind you i'm probably about half mile behind you at the moment roger that I can see, I can see that Tad, Tad's is slave now to waypoint four. Doesn't look like it's on my screen. Gonna take myself well, up to seventy. Well, I can, I've got the Tad, so I can see that you're Not looking seven. at it. So press slave. Where's that? Oh, right, we've got, um, got a signal flare. What do I do now? Uh, where the signal flare is, that's where you go into your stable hover and pop yeah. up and yeah. engage the enemy. Yeah, we've gone just over the bro over the border. Right, oh, come on back. I'm on your five o'clock, Paul. I'm just going to get us into a stable hover, um, Scoobs. Yeah, you mentioned slave, but I don't know what you mean. So slave is your... Um, on your tads. Yeah, the big display in the middle, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Hang on, I'm trying to concentrate here. Navigation's a bit easier in this than in the Huey. Yeah. yeah, you got the velocity vector to put you put that on that base on that own plate symbol and you fly right there, don't you? Yeah. Right, Scoobs. Yep. So you want to have some button make sure you got these buttons you have you got slave? I've got them Keep all that, but I don't know what they are. I'm going to okay. and have a look. Yeah. So on your weapon page Go to acquisition, bottom right corner, and select waypoint four if it's there. Done. Okay, then slave, and that should then set your tads to waypoint four. Slave being a, a joystick button. Yeah. You slave it, then you unslave it, and then you've got freedom of movement of the tads. So slaving it by just gets it set to look in that area. And then you unslave, and then you got full control of it with with whatever axis you've keybound it to. Is the control call slave? Yes. So it's on. It's either on the right hand grip or left hand grip. On the right hand grip, button seven, whatever it is. Watch out for the wires. Yeah, I saw the wires. Oh, it's down down there. Cool. Oh yeah. Checking right slightly. Roger. 16k to the next rate point. Beginning a gentle ascent. Very reminiscent of flying the A10. This. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Nowhere to put my tea mug though. That's the problem. Yeah. And even got a bungee strap to stick your papers into. Neil, yeah. I take it that the enemy targets are around that town in the distance from this ledge. They are, yes. About 1.9 miles, I think. Cool. Oh, turbines. When I press the slave button, I get the two dots, but nothing seems to work.
I ain't gonna lie, Scoobs, this is pretty difficult to kind of... Yeah, it's awkward, isn't it? Especially if i kind of got to be in it to be doing yeah. it. And trying to keep this thing from not uh, coming out of a hover. I'm pressing the slave button and I'm getting the two dots on the crosshair, which is the direction I can see the flares over at our um, 11 o'clock. Yeah, oh. visual flares. So yeah, we've got to fly visual. over to the flares, is it? Um, yeah, fly over to the flares, and then that's just practicing your pop-ups um, and looking should, at the enemy locations. Yeah, you should see me. I might I'll actually be working. You going to clear those uh, turbines, Neil? Yeah, I'm going in between two of them. I'm, I'm just about your six o'clock. Roger that. Ah, oh, you're no. passing the, bars, the turbines? Yeah, yeah, we're just passing the wind turbines, okay. yeah. I just passed them, I will uh, do a pattern here while for you. Roger, you just before waypoint two, are you? Yeah, correct. Uh, we're in a two ship. Um, I might be ready for a guns attack. We're 10, 10 kilometers from waypoint two. Okay, come back. Now, for the, the range, is it manual range and then tap A in the you want to get your laser laser range designator basically so to get your it will give a quick sort of like shoot it and it will give you range information then you can manually input the information or you can set it to automatic but i would say that at this kind of distance we want to be doing it manually but i think the gun is only kind of accurate up to about 1200 feet is it 1500 just under a mile is it okay? 1500 max for the gun. That's meters, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just about, just over, just under a mile, isn't it? Yeah. I'm pressing the trigger for the laser, but it's not doing anything. Nearly, you trimmed You probably go on the weapon. Go on the weapons tail. and then yep. utility. Bottom Take left corner, you need to. Are box you trimmed aerodynamically? Laser. Are you nose tail trim? No, not. Not, no, not I really. I've got a dot on it. I'm not too bad actually, nose to tail. I seem I'm about pretty much uh, ball, I have your visual. flying on the ball. Roger. I'm on, I'm on your nine, joining uh, back to the trail. Scoobs, I'm just going to yeah, find Roger, us somewhere same. to land and then we can sort this out. We're going to a different turbine. group and we can land and we can talk. So, where yeah, is the target? Over it. Uh, Yogi, over just over the ledge of that hill, right in front of you. Roger. To your left will be a town. You'll Easy see it in the distance. Touch. Okay. I'm just going to land a, over here, Scoops. And there's a little village just yep. uh, just below where the flares are popping up in the valley, um, which is only one o'clock. You've got a bigger flat as well. Right, Roger. If you turn around 20 degrees, you've got a bigger bigger landing pad. You probably recognise that area, Scooby. Uh, is this where all the BMPs and shit were? Yeah, that's where we had the um, first trial mission with 97 Squadron. Yes. User left your channel. User was moved out of your channel. Okay, that's me, Abbott. Maybe point one, one to be point two. Hi, Gus. We're um, four from two. Yeah, we're just <laughs> uh, just coming up to um, waypoint two. Copy. Hundred. Paul, when we get to waypoint two, should we find somewhere to set down, and then um, if could you talk us through how to set waypoints on the MFDs? Yeah. Okay. If you're if you're up to speed on that, I sort of know it. Yeah, I, I read it the today and I, it sort of went in one ear and out the other. Frankly, it's one of those things you need to be in the cockpit to practice. I think. Are you saddled, with, um, Philip? Yeah. Cool.
Uh, at the waypoint one, I saw something like a diamond or something like a broken diamond. But uh, on the waypoint two, I cannot see anything like that. Do I have yeah, to I change something? I, I don't know where that is. I think that's you can add symbology onto the map. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I haven't really read up on that yet. Did you sort your computer out, Gus? Yeah, I just went for a restart on the PC. For some reason, the mission uh, took forever to load in. Yeah, I had that on um, Yogi's server yesterday. The first, yeah. first time I logged in, it, maybe it's just sort of look, okay, getting to learn everything. Okay, good for me. I'm going to find right. somewhere to land. Roger. Am I overtaking you, Paul? Possibly, I'm decelerating. Okay, are you landing, are you? Yeah. On that white little bit, about 12 o'clock. Yeah, I'm going to circle and uh, come in and land near you. See, if, if, this, if this was the channel map, we'd be able to land in the cricket square for this village. Uh, have you landed at waypoint two? Uh, just, just after it. Just, down, okay, just outside right. of waypoint two. We're just about zero it. two zero from waypoint two. Okay, I'm just passing the turbines. Seven clicks out. I'm right behind you. Watch that. I've hit a few targets. Is that with the gun? Roger. Cool. Bloody difficult though. Push the range at the gun. 1500 max. Roger. Although interesting, in the front seat it says um, it says it's got 3000 meters. Is that because you use the um, TDAC? Yeah, I think so. And I'm finally on the ground. Quite impressed with that with my uh, spot landings are a bit rocky at the moment. Yeah, we get better every day though. Yeah. Coming up on your nine. Roger. Yeah, it got you both for sure. Eight four o'clock. Oh. You just both here. He's all up on again. No, no, we're just just landing. Okay, Roger. That's down. I'm just flying over waypoint two now. Did you land at the top of the hill? More or less. Toward, yeah. Towards the valley. We're about your one o'clock at the moment. If you stay zero one six, you should see us. Roger. Yeah, we're lined up, sort of facing the the valley. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, from the centre of that little village that's uh, just behind you, we're about 020 by about 0.78 miles. If you turn to a bearing of 338, uh, Gus. 338? 338, yeah. Okay, three BMPs are blazing. Sorry, six BMPs are blazing. Was that just with the gun? Uh, th four with the gun, couple with the rockets. Nice. We'll just fly about three, four, six now for about a mile and a half. Is there any in the village? There should be. There's uh, there's a BMP in the village. Uh, and I think I've got you, Basil. There's um, BRDM. Yeah, there's a BMP in the village. There's some BRDMs which are patrolling southwest of the uh, the village. Yeah, I've got the, the I've got the southwest patrol. Oh, okay. Uh, right, okay. You're in the small village, yeah. There's infantry in there. Um, and the main village is over the other side of the valley. Okay, is that south of the flares? Uh, it is on a, from the flares. It will be a bearing of 308. Oh, right, okay. That's north then. Ish. Yeah, so it's literally right, right across the other side of the valley. It's about uh, 1.2 miles away. Yeah, it goes, got your visual about six o'clock. Right, I'm just coming up behind you. Do the circuit breakers work in this? Oh, I don't know. How do you get it so that the cursor moves the map around? Uh, click on pan, make sure your uh, cursor yeah, is yeah. in the right MPD and that should start them moving your map around. Yeah, got that. As soon as you said pan, I realised that I'd seen that yeah. before. Here comes Gus. These are these things you don't have to remember to lower the landing gear. Yes. Oh, bumpy, bumpy. Yeah, a bit bumpy, but you did better than I did. I seen my shadow on the ground to my left, and I shut myself. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was one of yous. I thought it was land beside you. <laughs> okay. Uh, is okay. it the reset rim working for you? Because for me it doesn't work. I mean, Any pep talk, Neil, before we lift off again? Try to say again, Paul. Any kind of pep talk before we lift off? No, not really. If we head, should we head for four? Um, I'm just going to direct to four. No, let's go to go to three first, then to four. Yeah, um, okay. And do we? And then and then we'll see if we can. Once we get to four, if we land there, and then see if we can plot a course to get to the big lake, which is uh, north west of our location, which is down by the firing range. Yeah. Okay. Then. Right. Uh, flight beacon. Torch. Order of flight would be Paul, uh, Philip, Gus, me. Roger. Want 
me to follow him behind uh, Philip. Yes, please, yeah. Okay. And I'll follow him behind you. Going stag? Uh, yeah, stag, go yes. stag right. Okay, I'm accelerating 70. If we can uh, keep it relatively loose, say about five rotor discs. And again left to waypoint four. To copy. Roger. Sight of you, Gus. I know. Uh, no, gotcha. I'm That's locked. Right. I'm locked. Yep. Oh no, I haven't. There was a shadow. Sorry. I've got Paul and um. Yeah, Paul I'm, and Philip. I'm at your ten o'clock low. Just underneath you. No, underneath you. Oh yeah, underneath. I've got you. Yep. Yeah. I'll push up. We should be able to just follow the smoke that Yogi's been making. I think I'm getting the hang of this trimmer now. 
Yeah, I am. I think. Famous last words, of course, but. <laughs> Until I come into land and then it'll try to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not able to reset my dream. I don't know if you are, guys. I've done mine. You know, yeah, I've, I've been. Well, I've been practicing with it, so. How do you do it? How do you reset? I'm into the. You can't reset the trim, you gotta force it there with your stick and uh, red Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to get, get There is no your, reset. Um, get oh, your okay. white, white sort of bits in the where you need them to be and then push the reset. That's one thing I do miss a recenter trim. Yeah. In a week's time, or a couple of weeks' time, we'll probably be wondering what the heck we're all worried about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, we've got uh, Yogi, who's um, buzzing around down in the valley a little bit, I think. Roger. Okay, guys, I'm slowly decelerating. Roger. Roger. Should say release, really, shouldn't I? This is a nice formation, nice spacings. What are you planning on, Paul? Are you going to come into a hover? Or are you going to land? I don't know, I'll just see what I can see once we pass 3.4 and work out where to put down. There should be a nice flat area to, to put down. See them now. I saw a flare in front of you, Paul. Yeah, there's a flare to the left as well. Sir. Just gonna peek over this switch line. Yeah, I'm gonna wash again. Roger that. Yeah, it got your visual. Just ahead again, yeah, no more. Yogi, have you managed to clear out all the vehicles from the small village? Some, uh, some of them, not all of them. Okay. We're just up, um, up where the flares um, are at the moment. I think there's still a couple there. That's a plan of attack here. Oh, I'm in the best hover I've ever been. Uh, plan of attack is basically just go into a hover and see if you can spot the enemy. Okay, copy. 
Ja, det er næsten vel ikke spillet langt fra der. Der er en små village below us, men der er en stor by across the way, um, across the valley. Um, there, there's some vehicle movement on the right hand side. I think I can see dust. Yeah, to the right, right of the village as you're looking at it, there's dust in the woodland. That's right. enemy. Okay, I'm down. Oh, you're landing? Where are you? <laughs> okay, I've got two ships at my 10 o'clock. I'm in a sort of relatively stable hover, I think. Yep. Neil told me to land out of waypoint 4 right. so I could show me how to program this uh, TSD. That you, it's uh, descending, Falcon. No, I'm trying, trying to hover. Okay, I see some of the... Not uh, that might be me, I'm just... Uh... Okay, coming down. I'm at your 7 o'clock high. Roger, I'm just keeping an eye out. I can... Yogi's having lo lots of fun burning all the vehicles on the other side of the valley. Roger that. There's yeah. another one. Uh, Was that late of north of us you wanted me to plot? Say again, Paul, sorry, missed that. Uh, the late north of my position you wanted me to plot. Yes, please, yeah. Okay, just working out the coordinates. I see a BMP at the base of the water tower. You're approaching the town, uh, Neil. Pushed up on the town, Neil. I think I can see you. Yes, I have, yeah. Yep, I see you, yeah. He's doing a runner. Yeah, I'm going to go wet and stop. I'm going around again. And then I'm going to fly over and see how Paul's getting on. Were you at waypoint four, Paul? Yeah, I just passed waypoint four. Roger. Oh, the uh, target's at the. <clears throat> the north of the town, be the dust. I realised that I didn't have these set up as heli. Um, unit numbers so that we can't 
deploy smoke or anything on these particular ones. That's a shame. Come up first. Spotted for you. Yeah, I'll do. Uh, when I when I do the next iteration, I'll change that to uh, so we can use CTLD smoke. Roger that. Okay, Paul, I've got you your landing site. Just swinging around to join you. Roger that. Just inputting coordinates for the lake. Is there anything in this town over here in the in the northwest? Yes, there should, there's uh, there's a BMP up there, and there should be some infantry as well. I think you've got everything else. I haven't set those on respawn yet. That'll be my next uh, next programming bit. There's a BMP to your left, coming down the hill from the town. Yeah, I think that's Gus um, up there yeah, at the I'll, moment. I'll just spun around on it. Yep. Got it, Gus? Uh, I'm just spinning round now. Roger just that. turn it. Yep. He's you see your left? Down. Yeah, he's heading down into the forest area from the town. He's headed. Uh, oh, that's late input, and I've got to go back to set up. See him. It's alright, I scratched him. Nope. He's gone. You'll see the smoke. Oh, you're better at landing than I am, Neil. No, <laughs> I've been focusing on that more than anything else. <laughs> okay, so how do I put a co coordinate in? Okay, first, click on point. Yeah, not a good landing. <laughs> Yeah, done point. Click on add. Where's add? Uh, out to. Oh, okay. Done. Now click on ident above it. Yeah. Okay, you have to put an ident to whatever the point is so a waypoint control point threat I called mine I called it a control point so in UK you put uh, CP enter yeah I'm done okay now has it got free yes it has yeah OK, I'll put L-A-K to stand for lake. It's a three-letter entry you can put in. Missile, missile, after eight. Yep, done. OK, you should be able to input the coordinates now. OK, can I do that using my cursor? Uh, no, because the waypoint isn't in yet, so you got unless you know how to steer your map with your cursor and put your cursor onto it, I think you've got to do it manually though. So do you want the coordinates I got? I actually just put my cursor on the map and then push the uh, the cursor depress button. Yeah, and it's put it in as it? It's put it in, yeah. Oh, fair enough. Then it should give you the elevation and then just press enter to accept the elevation and that's it, your point should appear on your map now say so mine's, con mine's control point 51 yeah, as is mine, yeah do you know how to do a direct to? Missile, missile. yeah, I think so RTE, then DIR, then move your cursor over to it and depress it and it should put a direct line to it I'm showing 2.9k from me. 
Where about did you two land? I just flew over this small town. Uh, we are, uh, your three o'clock. About half mile. Right. Uh, we are just side east, or, uh, just the other side of the tarmac road. Yeah, I got 29 and a half K. Actually, yeah. yeah. You got your direct to then, active Neil. Yeah, I have, yeah. So I've got a line directly to it. Cool. And that's a basically, uh, you put, if you want abbreviation for your control points, yeah. if you click on map, no, it's not map, uh, click on point, and then T, one, two, three, four, T4, it says ABR, click on that, and it gives you all the abbreviations for the lettering you can put in for your control points, scroll it with the, uh, oh, okay. the B1 and B2 to scroll through your abbreviations. Yeah, I see, Pay eight pages, yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, that's and that cool. Gives, that gives you abbreviation. Just press the ABR button again to back out of that page. Cool. Basically, I find out if you push the same button again, that's how I did it back same to what it was before. Yeah. So it's just a matter of like, working out the coordinate. I haven't worked that, but I don't know if you can do it with your tads or not yet. With a store command, I haven't worked that out yet. But you can program in your tads then and build towers if you see towers and stuff like that. Or pylons and wires you can pull on the map. Quite a versatile little unit once you get it to, into it. Oh, we lost Philip. Aye, to our left. Okay, should we uh, should we head off to the lake? Yeah, we will do. I'll, I'll let you off. lift off first, Neil, because my little car can be rocky as well. Okay. Ages. Are you ready to go, Gus? Yes, yes, I'm just in the hub up. Yep. Okay, let's go torch. Oh, hold on. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, crap. I tipped over, I smashed me rotors. Should we see you, um, see you at the farp? Yeah, okay, I'll select the and get a new ship. Well, at least I've got us to waypoint four intact. Well, and you landed as well. Yeah, that as well. That's a bonus. That was... Someone keeps firing missiles, or I keep getting a missile warning. Yeah, but I'm getting that as well. Yeah, so do I. My uh, my countermeasures keep going. I don't know whether um, did we get that BMP? Because that BMP might have. Uh, oh, it's down. Uh, no, that's down, is it? Somebody got it. Yeah. Unless it's John, John's uh, Scooby's up up high. Um, whether they're just practicing with missiles. Don't know. Which lake are we headed for? Uh, the very big one, which would be north uh, on a bearing from here of. Good question. What's the bearing? And um, pop up five in the pit. It's almost due north. No, it's not. over a lake at the moment, but I don't think it's it's not that big. No, it's uh, three three zero two. Three zero two. Okay, it's off to my left then. Uh, it's the one that's um, just east of the main uh, training range, firing range. Oh, Roger that. It's only um, yeah, it's only it's not very far away. I see a lot of people like to put the wolf pack livery on. Oh, I've, I never picked the livery, I must admit. Yes, yeah, 20, 29 kilometres away, Yogi. Copy that. 302.
Hey Neil, what rockets have you got on board? That looks like a very interesting pod array. Uh, I think I've got I've got four Hellfires on each side um, with the with the rockets in the in inboard. Inboard, yeah. So the arrangement of the rockets is very interesting. Yeah, it was it was a standard loadout. All oh, right. If you go to weapon page. Yeah. And then select rockets. It'll give you a breakdown of what rockets you were carrying on the left hand side of MPD in your inventory thing. I don't know okay. if you've got a fair to see. I've got 38 6RC, whatever they are. I think 6RC is the pod. But I'm carrying 282s. I don't know sure if, what it, if well, you've got um, a load of different rockets on your left list or not. Yeah, I'm not sure what, it, what I've got. I need, to, I need to concentrate on flying. <laughs> fair enough. What are we doing at the lake, Neil? Uh, we were just flying to the lake. We were um, we just didn't put that as a as a um, as a waypoint, a waypoint as a, okay. just as a test. Okay. Did that on the uh, MFCD. Oh, on the scratch so pad. We, yeah. So we thought we'd just fly there and then uh, see where we are. Roger. So all this area over to the right is is sort of where where I'm going to set up a navigation um, sort of training area. In those hills. In those hills, yeah. That's the Trudos Mountains. It's very nice. I've never yeah. been to Cyprus. Have you not? Oh, mate, it's beautiful. It really is nice. It's got literally every weather uh, microclimate. Jesus Christ, why is it firing me? Why is oh, that firing? Was, I just. Oh, is that firing? That, I fired a missile just because I could. Um, and you just fired all your flares. Yeah. Okay, that must be the counter auto countermeasures because I'm over your, I'm in your nine o'clock, probably about a mile and a half away. Uh, Roger. So what? if I fire another missile, then that, your countermeasures might fire. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So they're yeah. automatically firing, picking up my missile. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That does look cool though, all your countermeasures going off. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I haven't got very many left though. Right, I've got a direct two set for that lake, 28 kilometres on my way now. Cool. You might be able to see the um, the farm from over the top of this hill. Just trying to figure out where it is. It's probably slightly to the left of the. It's uh, a bit further on from the lake and on the left. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. There's another lake just in the distance, at bearing almost due west. Actually, that's the one that's towards the um, the occupied town. So I put in those uh, extra couple of uh, refinements that Mark suggested. Yeah, I think we got recce pods. Yeah, I think we've got quite a full map now. Yeah, no, I think so as well. I think it looks great now. Uh, I've got visual on you and Gus to my Roger. Left. I got visual on the farp um, mast. Uh, which is on a uh, bearing, ooh, where's that, uh, where's well, about my 11 o'clock. See, that's, that's the nice thing about the Hornet, is with our um, HMD, it, uh, the direction moves with the, with the head, it's not stuck. Yes. And I think that's useful, because then I can tell you a bearing from my position. Yeah, that's what the A10 one does as well. Yeah, I don't know why this one doesn't do it. Especially when they're made by the same manufacturer. Yes. 
unless that's a sort of a, a follow-on because you got that um, dotted diamond in the on the HMD which is where where the helicopter's pointing yeah you know, whether at some point you can actually change that so that the tape moves with you I don't know What's your speed? Uh, I'm doing 85. Okay, 110. Yeah, I was going to say, you were pulling away from me and I was just thinking, I'm doing 100 knots. I'm just slowing down now. Alright, I'm going to go 3 o'clock. What's your location, Paul? Uh, 23 miles from that lake. Approaching on the bearing of 027. Okay, where did you start from? Uh, the FARB. I'll be approaching from the uh, southeast. Roger. I've lost you, Neil. I think you're over my left shoulder. Yeah, so I, I'm. I was in my F10 map then. Uh, okay. I'm uh, probably your seven o'clock. Much. Uh, vision on the far on my left. Yeah, I think you took off from Pathos, didn't you, um, Paul? Oh yeah, sorry, Pathos. Yeah. Did you want to head um, head you north um, towards the occupied town? Ah, uh, can do. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll meet you by the occupied town. Roger that. Heading north. We'll, uh, I'd, uh, I thought we'd just uh, have a look at doing a, a little bit of that sort of bounding overwatch um, over by the town. Uh, what town are we going to? The one on the left? Uh, the right. one... one we looked at the other night, wasn't it, Neil? Yeah, the one uh, probably on a bearing almost of 300. Yeah, I've got it. Right sure. on the coast. Oh, we're going to the coastal one? The co the one yeah, right the coastal on one. one. Yeah, the one on the coastal one, yeah. Roger. Because there was that other one on the nose here that we've got right in front of us. Yeah, I'll just figure out a bearing, two secs. Yeah, two more. Did you want me to set a bearing for you, Paul? Yeah, if you could, please, Neil. Yeah, Three to eight. Three to eight, Roger. Now I know what that tone was, the autopilot shutting off. Okay, I've got Gus in view, can't see uh, Yogi. Um, uh, below you, to your right, four o'clock. Oh, yep, seen it, yep, yep. seen it. Right, I'm gonna. What's the height are you at, Yogi? I'm um, at uh, oh, 1400 feet. Roger. For some reason, I've lost my height uh, readout. Is it uh, some part? If you move your head. Larger. Yeah, I've just lost it as well. What the hell's going on? Oh, now it's come back. It keeps disappearing. Are you going up above radar out? Don't know. D don't know. Don't think so. Not that high. Oh yes, I oh, might have done. I'm down. I'm now at twelve fifty. Um, so we might have just been above radar height. I'm uh, below your three o'clock, Gus. 
Um, I'm you both. Yep. below seven seven o'clock to you, Yogi. Roger. Problem don't your altitude. Yeah, my altitude's now nine nine eighty. I'm dropping at five hundred feet per minute. I just want to get down um, a little bit lower. What's the maximum speed of this beastie? Does anyone know? I heard 170 knots. I know it's pretty quick. I'm so used to flying the the, um, the Huey around at, at sort of 60 to 80. I forget that it can fly a bit faster than that. Right, Yogi, just on your right, you're gonna, you should be able to see a little village. Um, just past, we want to start going, uh, sort of find a small landing spot. We can wait for Paul and we just do a little, I thought we'd just, just talk through a bounding overwatch. Roger that. Yeah, I'm on your uh, three o'clock, slightly high. User joined your channel. Good evening, guys. How are we all doing? Hey, Marcus. Hi, Mark. How's How my, are you doing? How's my gunner? Yeah, I've been uh, I've been hard studying today, mate. That's what I've been doing. Uh, you can come and join me. I'm just in your six o'clock. Roger, I'm just going to pick a landing spot. Oh, we're landing, are we? Yeah, just uh, let Paul catch up, and then uh, are you jumping in with uh, Yogi, Mark? Yeah, I can do. Just uh, joining the server now, bud. Uh, cool. Just on this high ground here, just the other side of the woods, there's a sort of a light coloured area. I'm just going to land on that. Drop it. Roger that. Oh crap, didn't mean to fire that. Okay, 14k away from the lake. Ooh, watch that here. It's, uh, it's a bit too steep. Just gone up a bit. Yeah. That almost bit me in the arse then, a little bit. <laughs> I 
calm down. That's a, that's a little bit better. <laughs> Is there enough space for us all there? I think so, yeah. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of space to the left. There's loads of space in front as well. Yeah, so I'm just conscious it's on a bit of a, a rise. Yeah, you're probably better off just in front of me, actually. Oh, you're off in the wrong direction, Paul. Uh, now I'm coming to my nav system. Oh, tapped all that. We're over by um, uh, by the town on the on the coast, which is bearing 301. Roger, turning 301. Yeah, I was heading for the lake. User joined your channel. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hey, don't join. User was moved to your channel. We've already been. Okay, steering 301. Yeah, two nine nine. Nice watching these bots can let me land. They look really good, don't they? Yeah, superb. We're on a direct bearing from your location now, Paul. Uh, we're, yeah, we're direct bearing to us from your location, Paul, is uh, 297. Roger, 297. Okay. What are we missing? Did a helicopter miss disappear? Oh, there it is. Bloody hell, that was tough. <laughs> you're always worried that the thing's going to tip over. Yeah, because I was about yeah. to dodge it. Yep. Yeah, we almost did spot. that just now. Where it, it's not quite as stable on the on the sloping ground. This one. No, that's why I, I thought um, I'm, I'm conscious. I'm on an angle, so I just thought, well, nose down on the angle, so that you kind of you're not sloping. The aircraft is not sloping on its side at an angle. If that makes any sense. Uh, Neil, can you explain the map for us? I see a navigation area. The, the danger zone. Is that just flooded the AI? Sorry, um, that's all. Uh, just ah, checking just the time. Okay. Uh, can you explain the map to us? I see the navigation area. Yeah, yeah. Right so if you go to the F10. Yep. So we are, um, we are over. So you've got the, the danger area around the, yep. um, around the range. If you go. Um, north west of that heading towards the coast you yep, see a, the red uh, sort of semicircle around the town yep so what we're going to do from here we're just going to just practice doing um a sort of bounding overwatch which okay. effectively is where we're, we're going to move towards the town trying to spot the enemy um but doing it in in sort of uh, as, like a, as a threesome and with paul joining us as well okay um, and the idea being is you move from cover to cover, um, nap of the earth flying, so lots of low, very low hovering, searching for the enemy. Okay. So what we do That's is cool. we're, uh, from this point, we're going to head on a bearing of two, broadly 285. Um, and this is, there's a lot of communication between us saying, right, we're going to go round to your left, round to your right. We're going to follow that uh, valley up, that sort of thing. So it's very dynamic depending on the terrain. Got it. Okay, 12 and a half kilometers from you. I've just created a quick waypoint where you are. Roger. Three minutes, 19 seconds, present speed. Roger. Roger. 
So just looking, uh, are you in, Mark? I am just in now, yep. Excellent, excellent. So, um, Yogi, are you able to do a, a sort of a rudder turn um, to to look sort of broad, broadly 317, that sort of direction? No, because I will tip over. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. I'm just okay, so if, I, if I do that on the ground, I'm, I'm scared I'm going to tip over. So what I'll do is, uh, um, you guys, you guys go. I'll, I'll just turn around and, and, and cover. Or what I was thinking of doing there's a town to my north, uh, which is Polis. I was going to go down to there, and then then come across along the coast, uh, taking it, you know, low. Okay. I'll, um... I'll tell you what, what, what we'll do is we'll do it uh, slightly different to that. Um, if you're where you are now, you go firm. So we, we'll say that you're set. So the terminology is set and then moving. So if you're set, uh, I'm going to move to the end of the woods, which you see probably on your 11 o'clock, about 100 metres away. Roger, got that, yeah. So I'll move to that point, And then when I'm there, I'll call Gus forward User disconnected um, from your and, and give Gus a direction to go to. He goes to the next bit of cover while I say set. And then you you then do a bounding overwatch past him, going either left or right, heading towards the enemy town. Roger that. If that makes sense. Yep. yep. So I'm just going into hover. Okay, so I'm coming up to the corner of these woods here. I've got a road which is going off on a bearing of three, th uh, three four zero. Uh, I'll set here. Gus, if you come round to my right and head down that road to the next bit of cover. Pop okay. it. Mark, do you want to take control of the weapons? Copy that. What have you got? Uh, rockets and gun, yeah? Yeah, rockets and gun. Okay, I've got no sight of any enemy at this point. Yogi, do you want to take off um, and head um, on your seven o'clock to the to the left-hand side of this copse where I'm hovering? And so effectively you'll do a left flanker. Okay, I'll go at the end of these roger. trees. I'll go at the end of the forest. Yeah, roger. Give us a shout when you're ready to join us, Paul. Yeah, I'm close to you now. Okay, set. Roger. Yeah, hold on. Okay, two's, two's coming around to the left. Roger. I got choppers visual, my 12 o'clock. Roger. Um, Paul, do so you want to... So if I follow the road, that'd be good enough? Yeah, follow the road, keep nice yep. and low. When you get to the end of the woods, go firm there and observe for the enemy. Paul, do you want to join with Gus and, and work as a pair with Gus and I'll work as a pair with Yogi? Yeah, okay. Uh, Gus is on the uh, on the little track to my right. Yeah, Roger, got him for sure. Okay, Paul, I'm set. There's a forest just ahead of me, if you want to go to the end of that. Roger. Okay, Yogi and Mark, when you're set, yeah, got you um, I'm off, gonna come course. behind you and go to your left. I'm on your six, Roger. about half a mile, 40 knots. Roger. There's, there's haystacks in the field, and there's a forest just before that, if you want to go to the end of that yeah, forest. Yeah, got that, yeah. Okay, we're set. Roger, I'm moving now, I'm going to come behind you and to your left. Mark, you see anything? 
Uh, negative 19. Okay, go with some light on your tail. Uh, that's uh, that's Yogi, um, Paul. Sorry, Gus is over. Oh, is it? Yeah, Gus is uh, the one for behind. It's uh, your three o'clock. Just the other side What's of the little it? plantations. Just off your nose now. I'm below you. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do, Yogi, um, if you look to your 11 o'clock, you see a small hill um, about half a mile away. Uh, roger. Uh, I'm going to head over to that one. Okay, go. Okay, on my three o'clock, there's another hill which is um, just over to the northeast of my location. When I go set, do you want to move to that one? Roger. Okay, just approaching the crest. Two is moving. Roger. You got on, Paul? Yeah, I'm on your tail now. Roger. Mark, keep your eyes peeled. Roger that. I've got the the zoom on the tads working now. Well done, sir. So it's got a long, you can see a long way with it. Good, well there's supposed to be some BMPs around here somewhere. Copy that, scanning. Uh, coming up to the crest of the hill. Okay, ready when you are, Gus. Yep, if you just leapfrog, uh, you go behind me. The, the, see the haystacks? Yeah, I got the haystacks. Yeah, there's a forest just at the haystacks. If you maneuver yourself forward to there. Watch that. I'll cover as best I can. And I'm bounding. Watch. Passing your left. Yogi, do you want to continue slightly west? There's a hill to your, to your. I think it's to your left now. Um, if you go to your west, that should give you a good firing point towards the town. What's that? Moving left. Not knowing your set, Paul. Roger, go set there, and I'm okay, going to move forward. Okay, I'm set. Okay, where would you like me to go? You want me to sit here? From your point Yes, please, you. yeah. I'm just moving forward uh, parallel to you. In. Okay, forward. I've got a, a narrow valley um, which is going from uh, left to right, which is probably your 11 o'clock. I'm just going to go over the top of that to the high ridge over the other side. Roger, I'm going to point towards the town. Yeah, do you want to bend to just to right of my position? I don't want you to go any further forward because I can see buildings ahead. Scan your tads, Mark. Yeah, I'm on um, it. if you if you've got co if you've got cover, Paul, you move ahead as far as you can. Uh, if you need yeah. to swing left left to get over the cover, that's good. Okay, we only need to push quite a bit. Yeah, we are quite a way back. I'll look frog you, Paul, a wee bit, because we're... Okay, we're Yogi, I've got, uh, over towards me, I've got dust clouds over to the west of my location, although I can't actually see any vehicles moving. Whereabouts? West of your location? So west of my location, yeah. Uh, I can't, I've 
Yeah, I can see buildings about three two zero. Uh, I am probably on your ten o'clock uh, down low, just below the ridge. Follow the river, little stream up. Roger. And it's west of that, is it? Yeah, yeah. On a bear, roughly two, two, two eighty, two seventy, two eighty. Right, Paul, I'm on your seven o'clock. Roger that. Two six zero. Roger. Mark, you picking up anything? Uh, negative. It only you can only see a very small section in the screen, so you've got to stop scanning kind of back and forth with it. I'll wait for to the edge out time. I reckon yeah, about, you, about your 10, 10, 11 o'clock position, I saw the smoke, uh, saw the dust. Yeah, got your visual, 12 o'clock height. Right, visual Make on the, sure you got visual on charged. targets to your, mark to your left, just ov above, uh, sorry, yeah, there's, it's right between the two forests. There's five vehicles coming down, can you see them? Right on your 12 o'clock, on your nose, six vehicles yeah, now. Yeah, see. Weapons free. I make that just off my nose, probably about half a mile to a mile. Well, I'm going to go to the end of this town. Yeah, big... watch that. I'll give you overwatch. I'll be fine. I'm bending over that wood. Drop it. Yeah, Roger, I've got, uh, I've got eyes on. destroyed three more targets at one o'clock up the hill Roger, got, I'm walking them up yeah we got three confirmed kills down okay Paul I'm set Roger that Nice smooth controls with the uh, with the flying air. Thanks, buddy. Nice. Well taken out, guys. Yeah. Weapon safe. Okay, we're just uh, behind the forest area. We're just uh, snooping. User disconnected from your channel. Uh, we're set here. Yeah, Roger. I'm uh, actually about 100 meters behind you. I need to go, unfortunately. I've run out of time. Uh, makes it, uh, yeah, actually, I'm just thinking uh, we might need to go ourselves. That's a nice burning pile. <laughs> yeah, add to the list. Yeah. Great stuff. Thanks for the evening, guys. Sorry, I need to shoot. No worries, Neil. Take care, buddy. See you later. Cheers, be man. good, mate. Yeah, cheers. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to be on now until maybe Sunday afternoon because I've got a scout camp this weekend, so okay. that's going to keep me busy for Friday and Saturday. All right, buddy. No worries, Neil. Well, we'll catch you uh, Sunday. Yeah, did you want me to post you this uh, this mission, which is the updated one, uh, so it's a version 3, um, if you want to run it? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I, I, it'll be in my track file, so I can just convert it to a MIS. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to post it on Discord. Yeah, do that as well. Yeah, I'll do that. Thanks, Neil. That's really good. Really good. No problem. Cheers, Neil. Cheers, Gus Paul. Uh, cheers, yeah, Neil. Thanks cheers, for that. Neil. Cheers.
<clears throat> yeah, you better get Paul. I've had to turn down because I'm going to have to get going. Okay, mate. I'll just push up slowly, see if I can see anything. Yeah, I was o over the right side of the town, nothing started firing at me. Mark, we'll do one more, we'll do one pass across this town in front of us, because yep. there's apparently targets in there. Copy that. Uh, we'll do it slow, and then uh, we'll do one pass, and then I've got to head yeah, back to the Yeah, I got your visual course my four o'clock. Yep, so copy that. You're in the next village up to me. That's some good shooting, by the way. Roger. Thanks, mate. I was, I was trying to do it with the Tads, but it, it wasn't having it. It's, it's, it's too slow in slewing it to where you want. I need to figure out how to slew it to exactly where you want it, rather than trying to scroll it left. It's really slow. Yeah, Roger. Okay, here we were coming into the target area. Weapons hot. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to get going, so I'll see you around. Ta -ra. Take care, Paul. Uh, take care, Paul. Take care, Paul. See ya. Mark, you got your weapons hot? Yeah, weapons live. User disconnected from your channel. Troops to our right. Mark, can you Copy. see? See, see. Got it. Really bad like that. Someone just had a bad day. Is there any more troops left or we took them out? I think they're still there. I didn't see any uh, kill notification come up. I did. I've got a oh, whole load you? of them, yeah. Four troops five troops oh that's probably where the leg was coming in for me then oh let me find you another target check the f10 map Heading at six, uh, three, six, zero, 200 meters. What, that'll be in those trees? Yeah, you got something. Nice, well spotted. Oh shit, there's another one, moving right below you. Target's destroyed. Well done, sir. 
Sneaky bastards. Yeah, well camouflaged, I'll give them that. Yeah, tell me about it. Right, BMP to our right. Uh, Range. No, no, false alarm, false alarm. They're yeah, very well camouflaged, these guys. Oh, I haven't seen anything yet. Uh, bearing 280 for 300 meters. Oh, something just blew up. Target team, uh, 1 o'clock, 200 meters. Engaging. Target destroyed. It should be right below us. Oh, well done. There's this fire pit. Any more for any more? Searching. Target team, trucking open oh, by swimming pool. One o'clock, 100 meters. Target destroyed. Nice. Which swimming pool? Just at our 12 o'clock. If you look out at our 11 o'clock. Oh, got it, yeah, 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 see, yeah. Target team behind a building on the right. Swing it left. Whereabouts? Okay, if you can uh, do a 180 to the left, two more vehicles in the open. To the left, you sure? Or yeah, to the left. To... Uh, good, yeah, do a 180 to the left. Uh, reference where that small swimming pool was, there's two more vehicles in that compound. Heading is good there. Got him, got him. Nice, nice. Got him. Target oh, destroyed. Well done, sir. You've got to have good eyes in this bloody thing. They're well camouflaged. Bearing 310 for 300 meters. Target's in the open. Watch my tracer. Got it. Target destroyed. One left in that compound. Okay, I'll swing it around to the left, come back Copy. from the sea. Okay, gentlemen, I'll catch you all later. Take care, buddy. See you later. Bye -bye. Take care, mate. User disconnected from your channel. Down there. <laughs> yeah, Yogi, if you could raise up about another 200 feet so I can just see over the trees to our 11 o'clock. 
100 meters. Oh. Target destroyed. That's nice. Crazy flames. We have got a lot of targets bearing 280 for 200 meters. 280, roger. Yeah, in that compound where the crossroads are. Target team in, in between the two tall buildings just to our front. Bring it down a bit. Two targets destroyed. Third one seen. Third target destroyed. Yeah, we're the first in that same compound where we engaged the, the first set of targets between the buildings. There is a lot of infantry in there somewhere that I haven't seen. Yeah, I see the infantry. Lost and blind, they've gone underneath us. Okay, I'm gonna go towards the forest area and then come back. Copy. They were running in that direction, so. Hopefully, we'll have a clean line of sight. Roger. I might have to uh, call this the last run, buddy. Copy. Have to reach, teach me how to be a good co pilot gunner. I can pass on a few things here. Yeah. yeah, it's no, sorry, they're too high. Yeah, go on, RTB. Roger, RTB. Weapon safe. Nice work, buddy, nice work. Look at that, it's carnage. So between the two of us, we've got 41 ground targets. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, one's heading back to the path up. The only thing I haven't been able to do today is practice my startup uh, because they were hot starts, both of them. Oh, oh, the start of it is quite, it's quite easy, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. I suppose it's good to practice, though. Yeah. Right, let me just see if I can give you a little point. Do you have your uh, TSD up? TSD? Yeah. Uh, I can, I, what, do I just press TSD, top, bottom left-hand corner? Yep, yeah, press TSD. Uh, Roger, TSD up. Oh, aft fuel low. Right, okay. We better head back to the far. Yeah, it could be. So on your TSD now at or one o'clock, have you got a CPG cross? Uh, hang on a minute, mate. I'm getting a load of forward fuel, aft fuel low. Hang on a minute, let me just check the fuel. 
Oh, well, yeah, we, uh, forward and rear fuel's low, but we've got a centre, the centre tank still, uh, still good. How did you get the fuel up? Um, so you press M on your, yep. one of your, and then there should be a fuel button. Oh, see, it, yeah. Okay, oh yeah, got loads of money. 660 centre tank. Yeah. Uh, far is in sight. Right, so what you were saying is TSD. Yep, TSD. Yeah, I've got a map now. Yep, on the map. Uh, scale it to about uh, between, yeah, scale it to 50 nautical miles. Alright, set. And you should, at your one o'clock, you should have a CPG white cross. Do you see it? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, so now I've just put that down. That's called a keg mark. So I can stick that anywhere on the map I want. Nice. Just for reference, if uh, if I want you to kind of look somewhere or or fly somewhere, and I can get you to fly to it direct as well by doing this. Well, why don't you pitch it on the far, far? See right at the distance. There's a comms tower. Okay. Yep. Yeah, copy. I've got some flying in today, Mark, because maybe tomorrow and Friday and May, and maybe even Saturday, actually, I'm just thinking I might not be flying. Get, get it in while you can. Yeah, that's why I thought I'd come out tonight. I've really enjoyed flying the Huey, I've got to say. I've got so much to learn on it, though, but it's been very satisfying doing the multi-crew. Multi, uh, oh, it's a, it's a game-changer, isn't it? It is, yeah. I am starting to miss my F-18 though. Yeah, but I'm feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit guilty. <laughs> yeah. There's one thing that uh, definitely can't replace is those fast jets, our fast jets. Once a fast jet pilot, always a fast jet, fast jet pilot. Well, sim pilot anyway. But this has definitely been enjoyable, and it still is enjoyable. That would be my go-to machine for helicopters. Right, far up in the distance. Yeah, I'm struggling to get it direct. Have you seen the white cross? I have changed it. It is right in front of us. It's behind us. Oh, is it? Well, my TSD, yeah. Oh, I still, still have a lot to learn on it. That's all right, mate. I'll get there. video to upload. Lovely. <laughs> Keep racking up those kills. I like what, um, I know I came in a little bit late there, but it was good to see, uh, so we're doing like pepper popping there, kind of fire maneuver. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Bo bob ups. I think they're called bob ups or something like that. Right. Oh, bound bounding. Bounding, that's it, yeah, bounding, yeah. That's what we were doing. I'll tell you what, my right wrist is over oh, my joystick hand is the wrist is really user uh, joined your channel. Really hurting. Mind you, I've been flying for two and a half hours now. Yeah, I must admit this is uh it takes because you've got to keep the pressure on it yeah. in certain positions, don't you? That's right. Yeah, it's uh it's it's quite labour intensive, isn't it? Absolutely. You both sound quite busy.
Jeff, buddy, how you doing? Yeah, uh, I was going to say I can't complain, but I can. Why, what's up? I can't start DCS from any of the shortcuts or the icons I've got in my desktop. The only way I can start it is by going into an its main folder and opening the bin and starting it from there. I don't know what's gone wrong. Have you tried repair? I've tried repair. I'm starting it as administrator. I've checked on the internet. Can't see any sort of uh, issues with it. Quite strange. And you got your desktop, and it's not working from your desktop either, right? It's not working from my desktop. I can get it working, but I have to go into my E drive, open up the main folder, into the bin, and start it from there. It's very strange. Yeah, um, I've had reshade uh, in to help with the graphics, uh, but I've even dis uh, removed that and. Uh, I don't know. Right, so you obviously got an, an obvious pointer, so I'll uh, I'll leave you to it. All right, buddy. Sorry, I can't right. help any further. No, that's fine. Be good and good luck with it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, put it this way: I shall be able to fly on Tuesday, even if I can't do it from my desktop. Is there a mission on Tuesday? <laughs> yeah. Yes, there is. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Forty-one Squadron coming. Um, that I don't know. Just oh, let me have, just let me have a look at the frag. Sure. It's uh, three squadron F 16s, 41 and the F 18s, 892, one squadron on the uh, Harriers. 97 and um, Uzi from the Roosevelt. No, to answer your question. You there? Yep, okay. So 41 Squadron is uh, invited. Uh, well, I can't see you listed on the frag at all. Just said 41 squadron. Oh, right, sorry. Um, um, I thought you said one squadron. No, 41. Let me open it up again. That was a nice landing. That was lovely. Really nice. Straight in. Like it. Yeah. Chevy 41 Squadron F 18s taking off from Dubai International with the 810s. Okay. Right. Oh, excellent. We'll definitely be there for that. We'll be there. Okay, then, guys. Take care. Fly safe. Take care, buddy. Bye bye. Take care, mate. Bye. Right, you Cheers for that, mate. Mate, that was fabulous. Thank you very much, mate. Pleasure as always. I'll, uh, I'll try and figure out the uh, the hellfires for our, uh, for our next little hop. Huh? Roger that. Alright mate, be good, take it easy. Take care buddy. User disconnected from your channel.